Hello everyone, this is Vishal. It's good to see you after a long time. Generally, automating the background and financial health verification process is done by banks and other financial institutions for granting loans and credit. With the current COVID situation, since offices are shut and people have lost their livelihood, so many layoffs and the entire financial infrastructure is under a lot of stress. There is an urgent need of capital infusion in the forms of extending credit line and loans to the customer so that slowly and gradually they can make a start. For this, banks really need additional workforces apart from humans which is smart enough and fast enough to process a huge volume of loan requests. For this, we need RPA plus machine learning that is intelligent automation. The data shown in the screen is downloaded from the Kaggle.com. It is a combination of categorical data and numerical data. The last column is loan status, which is filled by the bank employees, considering all other necessary criteria like gender, marital status, dependents, education, self-employed or not, application income, co-application income, loan amount, loan amount term, and credit history, including the property area. The loan ID column is generally an index which is which does not add any value to this data. However, in order for us to train our machine learning algorithm, we need to convert all this categorical data into numerical data. Let's jump into the blue prism right now. The input data sheet is being fed to this machine learning algorithm along with other parameters such as function name that is loan predictor, train test split, 30-70 ratio, and random state, 1 to 3. Now let's run the code to identify the F1 score and accuracy of this model. I'm executing the code now. Let's wait for a while. Yeah, we got the results now. Uh, it is a graph based on decision threshold and the accuracy. So we can see training accuracy in the blue color, test accuracy in the orange color, training F1 in green, and test F1 in red. All the results are pretty good. We can see the value right now. We have to wait for a while to get the value. Yeah. The F1 score is 90.81 percentage and the accuracy is 86.17 percentage. It's pretty good results. Banks can now really start making use of intelligent automation to handle a huge volume of loan requests which will come to them after this lockdown. I'll see you in your next video very soon. Thank you so much.